नमस्कार टू ऑल ऑफ माय स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल आई एम पल्लवी रीडिंग इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरीज फॉर यू टुडे आई एम रीडिंग द वुमन ऑफ द बैटल फील्ड रिटन बाय द ग्रेट सुधा मूर्ति एंड टेकन फ्रॉम द बुक द डॉटर फ्रॉम अ विशिंग ट्री अनयूजल टेल्स अबाउट वुमन इन माइथोलॉजी Now let's go to the story. Rambha and Karambha were two Asura brothers who desired special powers. They began to seek these powers through deep meditation and prayers to Agni, the god of fire, and Varuna, the god of water. Rambha took residence in a blazing fire and began praying to Agni while Karambha stood inside a river and prayed to Varuna When Indra the king of the gods learned of their penance he grew worried he desperately wanted to stop the brothers from obtaining any bones that could be used against the gods after much thought indra disguised himself as a crocodile entered the waters in which karamba stood in meditation and quickly attacked him killing him on the spot he then also tried to attack rambha and drown him but the asura managed to escape with the grace of agni the years passed and rambha was crowned the king of the asuras soon he was also blessed with a son whom he named mahishasura the baby's name which meant buffalo headed asura refer to the fact that the boy was an asura with the strength of buffalo when mahishasura grew up he came to learn of the story behind his uncle's death and become furious with indra eagerly he waited for the right time to wage a war against the king of gods during the wait he prayed to brahma for the boon of immortality brahma could not give such a promise so instead he blessed him with another boon mahishasura your death will occur only at the hands of woman mahishasura was satisfied it is impossible for any woman to overpower a man of my strength he thought with arrogance when the right time came along mahishasura waged a war against indra the heavenly army failed to defeat their opponent and all the gods were driven out of their abode this forced the gods to come together and take action they resolved to end mahishasura's life however brahma's boon prevented any man from defeating the feared asura so the gods devised a plan with the blessing of the trinity and the combination of their powers they created the asura's nemesis a divine form of the goddess parvati with multiple arms and beautiful long black hair the gods gifted this avatar of parvati a red sari gold jewelry and magnificent crown you will be known as durga the goddess of the battlefield said brahma in addition they presented her with a tiger as per primary vehicle and gave her each of their characteristics weapon the trident from shiva the sudarshana chakra or discus from vishnu a kamandalu or small water pot from brahma a bow from the wind vayu arrows from the sun god surya a thunderbolt from indra 
a spear from agni and conch from varuna when durga was ready brahma spoke on behalf of all the gods requested her o goddesses none of us can kill the mighty and uncontrollable mahishasura you will need all of these weapons to slay him we beseech you to help us almost as if those words were all that she had been waiting for durga went forth and battled fiercely with mahishasura it was on top of a hill known as chamundi hill that she called him the area that mahishasura ruled was known as the mahish mandala in the olden days it is now known as the city of mysuru which is in karnataka parvati came to be known as mahishasura mardini or chamundi in mysuru there is a temple on the top of the hill dedicated to fearless avatar of parvati the story about parvati is described in the religious text devi mahatmya or glory of the goddesses this legend became such an integral part of our worship that prayers were offered to durga by royal families before the initiation of war even today during the 9 days of navratri parvati is worshiped in all her different forms such as vaishnavi kali and durga do you like this story then tell me in the comment box and subscribe our channel thanks for watching guys